Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Lawland. We are so excited because we have a dear friend of the Focus TV family with us today, Miss Andrea. And you are the head of Deck My Room in Los Angeles. Yes. Wow. I am the director of the chapter here in Los Angeles. And um, we are a nonprofit organization that decorates the rooms of children in the hospital that have to be there long term. Mm. So, and I have awareness bracelets for oh, everyone. Yay. What's I so important that. about decorating these rooms Thank is that you. you're really creating Thanks. a place for people to heal. Yes. For the children, for the parents, and that is so crucial. Yes. Basically, that's, that's what our mission statement is. Our mission statement is creating a healing place. Mm -hmm. um, the vision is to give these children a feeling as if they're in their own home. Mm -hmm. As it, it, we, we like to just make them feel comfortable. Um, if you've ever been in a hospital room as an adult, you know how cold and scary it is, but imagine being a child. Mm -hmm. And we work with children that are anywhere from one years old up to young adults. And it doesn't matter what type of disease or reason they're in the hospital, but if they're in the hospital for at least three weeks or longer, um, we will come in and we will create a special room for them and um, make them feel at home. Mm -hmm. What we do is we try to find out what the child's special interests are. We try to find out um, if it's a favorite sports team, if it's a favorite Disney character, if it's a superhero, no matter what. We will then go in and transform that room to make it look special for them. And not only do we do it for the children, but we also extend it to the parents. Aww. Because the parents have, usually there's a parent that mm -hmm. stays with the child overnight. And so we want the parent to feel comfortable. We want the parent to know that we care about them as well. Mm -hmm. It's an extension. As well as siblings. Well, if siblings have to come, sometimes they'll make a request for us to do a little something for the sibling, and we will do that. I actually have some photos oh, let's yeah. take if you'd a look. like to see. So I'm very curious, Andrea, why is this nonprofit, this charity, so close to your heart? Um, basically because I've been on both sides of the coin. I was the parent of a child, an infant, who was in the hospital um, five months. Unfortunately, he did not survive. But I know what it feels like being a scared parent for my infant, for my child, and knowing that my child doesn't know what's going on. And back then, without even realizing it, I was bringing things in from home, whether it was music or something to soothe my child. And then later on in life, being ill myself, as I said earlier, having cancer and now being cancer free, I know how scary it is to be lying in a hospital room, in a bed, not knowing what is going to happen. So it gave me the opportunity when it arose to be introduced to Deck My Room. And I just fell in love with the concept yeah. um, because I know that I can help that I can help the children, I can help soothe the parents, help on both sides. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, it's really lovely. You know, one of the things we find in, in uh, self-development and everything is most people are seeking their purpose and calling. And what we found over and over again is that usually it comes out of hard times, trials in life. And so it, we consider it, you know, a blessing in disguise, these things that happened to you, see it like that now, even though you lost a child, I lost a child as oh, well. Oh, absolutely. But yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I find that for me, just being there and knowing that once the, the, the rooms are transformed and seeing their faces, um, some of the children like being surprised. Mm -hmm. And if they're lucky enough to be able to leave their room, um, they wait for us to finish, 
and then they come back in and we wait to see their faces mm -hmm. and most of my volunteers I know I do and my volunteers we just cry mm -hmm. because ah. we see how happy the parents are the parents cry and these rooms they so are cute really so cute. well done look at the Mickey Mouse Minnie uh -huh. Mouse the smiles I mean it it really transforms the entire space that does not look like a hospital room. No, we, not at all. We, my volunteers spend $300 per room. And trust me, these women and men know where to shop mm -hmm. and they know how to <laughs> stretch <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and go in there and it's fun for the women and men to shop. Oh, absolutely. I mean, what person does not mm -hmm. love shopping most well Absolutely. not so many men I love do I love but it. <laughs> you go in shopping you it's a social event with because you're going with two and three volunteers and you shop for the child and then you get to go into the room and decorate and who doesn't like decorating oh, you I decorate oh, oh. and then you see your results and you see what it does for the child. So wonderful. So how can people get involved? So there's somebody out there, they're like, this is so inspiring. I just would love to get involved. How would they get involved with you? Well, you would go to our national website. Deckmyroom.org. Which is deckmyroom.org. Okay. Mm -hmm. And deck is spelled D-E-C. Mm -hmm. Like decorate. Right, a short version. Deckmyroom.org. And there is a place on there for volunteers. And you can volunteer by filling out an application, and it de it doesn't matter. We are in thir we have thirteen chapters across the country. We have we're in twenty one hospitals, children's hospitals around the country, and if if you don't feel like you can go into a hospital room, you can still shop. You can still. Um, shop for the child someone else can then go in and deck or you can just give your time if you have expertise in other areas help out um, or donate mm. and if you go on our website you can donate to each chapter um, in the city that you're in and the money that we receive stays in each chapter okay great so lovely thank you so much for all your work it's so inspiring and you know those things just it's just so personal and makes such an impact in someone's life so I, thank you I would love if you could read a few of the testimonials that the parents because we leave these for the parents so we know what we're doing if we're doing the right thing mm -hmm. and I just pulled two of them one is a six-year-old and one is a nine-year-old and if you read the bottom part, how we did, um, this, is, this is their responses. Wow, the parents of the six-year-old said, this definitely has changed my son's experience here in the hospital. It has made his room feel more cozy, as if he was in his own room at home. Oh, That's beautiful. I can't think of any way to improve our experience. It was perfect. Thank you guys for everything. May you continue to serve many more families. Mm just incredible With love. Yeah. oh absolutely and the parents of the nine-year-old says it's made my son's sorry I'm gonna start crying I here. Know, right? mm -hmm. it made my son very happy he was down for a few days not wanting to get out of bed now he's up just changed his mood mm -hmm. all around mm -hmm. how can they improve just keep doing what you do yeah thank you thank you so much this is the entire so reason why we have the show knowing that whatever you're going through right now may be a blessing in disguise it's always a blessing in disguise knowing that just like this amazing woman, you can turn around and you can give back. And if we each gave back one thing one day somewhere, there's a butterfly effect out there. So stay tuned, you guys. We're going to come back, recap Thursday thoughts, and um, get this day right. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.